for you to be like, look at me, I'm inclusive. During this time, that makes me so Welcome! Hi! So this is going to be video number two in my black owned business series. So video number one, if you want to go check that out, if you haven't seen it already, I did black owned activewear brands that you need to know. I felt like that was a really underrepresented category and people just don't talk about them enough. So I listed a bunch of brands over in that video. So after this one, definitely go check it out. But today's video, I'm going to be talking about black owned essential items. So we are talking about cleaning products. We're talking about toilet paper. We're talking about sunscreen. We're talking about all of those things that you use on a daily basis and you might not even think about switching from the brands that you normally do. Like you might use Gain or Tide or Method. Like not that anything's wrong, I don't want to say not that anything's wrong with those brands. We'll get to that another day, but we're focusing on eco-friendly, good for the body brands, um, typically made from scratch sort of things. So I am super excited to share these with you. The first brand that I'm going to talk about is called Pure Home. They focus on multi-purpose items that require you to use very little product. So they have a whole slew of things. They have disinfectants, they have um, stain removers, they have laundry detergents. So the items that I would like to highlight from this website and this brand in particular is the Clean Home Bundle, which let me, let me give my facts, let me give my facts. It comes with a laundry detergent, a bathroom cleaner, a multi-surface cleaner, and a multi-surface scrub cleaner, all in the scent lavender, so for this bundle, you can choose lavender, citrus, free and clear, rosemary, citrus, or mint, and you get this whole bundle for $45. So yes, you can get all of this stuff technically for way less than $45 at Walmart or Target with those typical brands that you see, but here you're supporting a black owned business. You are really focusing on good for the home, good for the body sort of ingredients, and I think it's well worth it. Moving on to brand number two, it is the Green Laundress. So this was created by, I'm pretty sure a mom who had a daughter or a child with really sensitive skin. So they wanted to create a brand that was really, really gentle on her child's skin. So it's all natural ingredients, like many of these brands are. It's all natural and really gentle. The item that I thought was really cool from the Green Laundress was this multi-purpose spray that comes in 128 ounces. So you have, if you are a bulk cleaner like me, I like to use one type of cleaner for many things. So I'll use a multi-purpose cleaner for my countertops, I'll use it for my windows, I'll use it for my mirrors, I'll use it for all sorts of stuff. And if you're somebody like that, this giant gallon jug of multi-purpose disinfectant is for you. So this jug is about $60, but you're able to put that in your own containers. You're minimizing your carbon footprint on the world by having this one-time ship for a really long time. And then you can disperse it throughout your house however you'd like, whether it's in amber jars, where it's in glass bottles, things like that, or just reusing containers you already have. Good for the planet, good for your body. I stand behind it, 100%. So the next brand that we're getting into is Honey Dipped Essentials. So Honey Dipped Essentials is a tiny, tiny, it's a little bit bougier than, you know, the other two that I previously, the other two that I previously spoke about. And they focus on cleaning, skincare, men's products, accessories, gift baskets. Like this is your cuter, slightly bougier brand. Yo, let me tell you. They have the Honey Dipped Essentials Sage and Citrus Multi-Purpose Cleaner. Do you see how cute this is? It has little citrus and whatnot in the bottle. Oh, and it's like a clear bottle, so aesthetic. I would just like keep this on my counter, honestly. It's like a little, you know, 
and a little bougie, but I clean. Like, that's what I would use this for. It's only $14 um, for 16 ounces. So, you don't get a ton of product, but you get sage and citrus right in the bottle. It's aesthetic, and I really love that. The second item that I chose from Honey Dipped Essentials that I'm so interested in is the Peppermint and Lavender 2-in-1 Sunscreen and Bug Repellent. So I am like a magnet for mosquitoes. Like they just, whatever is in my blood, they just love it. So I always wear bug spray pretty much when I leave the house, especially in the warmer months, especially in Florida. So I, I wear bug spray all the time and it makes me a little bit self-conscious like smelling like bug spray sometimes. I'm like, I'm supposed to smell cuter than this, right? But instead I smell like bug repellent. But this is peppermint and lavender, so you would smell really good. It also protects you from the sun. And I just love the concept of this. I've never seen a sunscreen bug spray hybrid in my whole life. So I'm really interested to try this. I'm definitely gonna be ordering this. Okay, so the next brand, we are going back to a affordable. The next one is Pardo Naturals, and they are pretty much just no nonsense. Here's your product in some biodegradable packaging. At least it looks biodegradable. That's what I'm assuming. But here's your products, no frills, no special, you know, oils or whatever. So the items that I chose, which I think is like really interesting, it's not just your typical disinfectants and things, which they also sell, but this item is a dishwasher tablet. Girl, what? I've never seen like a small business come out with a dishwasher tablet. So it won't have any toxic ingredients and I think this is worth a shot. For a pack of 10 is only $5. For a pack of 20, or yeah, a pack of 20 is $10. All right, so the next brand is focusing firmly, firmly on the laundry. So this is called Luhu and they're dryer balls. They're wool dryer balls. They come in cute colors, different bundles. And essentially what I learned from researching this brand in particular is that dryer sheets are really toxic. Like they have such bad chemicals in them. Who would have thought a dryer sheet? Like you use dryer sheets to get rid of static. So it's just sort of like, I never thought dryer sheets were a big deal until seeing this. So this is not only good for the environment, but it's good for you as well. And it's a little bit expensive, I'm not gonna lie. So this is a gift box that you can get if you just wanna try everything. So they have a stain stick, a laundry soap, and three dryer balls. And they're supposed to last for a really, really long time. So it's not a one use item. You just keep putting them in your laundry over and over again. So you're creating less waste overall, which I, firmly stand behind. So this is Luhu. Yeah. So this is Luhu, such a cute brand. I wanted to add that in there because dryer sheets are something that we either skip all together or we just assume there's no alternative, but there definitely is and you should check it out. All right. So the next brand is kind of, it was kind of unique in my opinion. So this is a bulk buy website where that's owned by a black family and it's called Freedom Paper Company and they sell, you guessed it, paper products. <laughs> so I see that they sell paper towels. Like, I never thought of buying paper towels from a small business until just now. You get 85 paper towels. You get eight, oh, I'm sorry. You get 30 rolls of paper towels for $39. I also feel like that's more affordable than the grocery store. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. I can't really remember how much paper towels cost, but if you're buying in bulk, you can buy this, put it in your garage, and you are set for the rest of the year if you use paper towels. And then the second thing was, of course, we're in a pandemic. So for some reason, people are still going ham on the toilet paper. And if you miss the boat, or if you just want to support a small business, they also sell toilet paper. They sell, 24 rolls for $20. That is so cheap. Oh my God. Interesting. So I didn't even see that before. So they sell 24 rolls for $20. And if you have space to like house your stuff, definitely go pick it up. So this brand is called Black Girl Sunscreen and they're sold at Target, first of all. 
They are not ashy. SPF 30, face and body, it's moisturizing. It has, it's infused with jojoba and avocado, okay? And it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So ultra sheer, no white residue, and it is $18 for a tube, which is pretty average, I'd say. Like for a really good sunscreen that's not just like regular, you know, Neutrogena or whatever, even then that can be a little bit expensive. So this is a black owned business and also, you can buy two bottles. If you have two bottles or more, you can ship it back to them for free. They'll give you a printed label and you ship it back and they'll recycle those bottles. So once again, if you are trying to do right by the earth, just keep purchasing from them. If you purchase at the store in Target, you're not even paying for personal shipping or anything like that. You're not even having those extra boxes and then you collect those tubes and then you just gently ship it back to them and they're able to keep the cycle going. So I support Black Girl Sunscreen. Good for you for getting into Target. Fully support you. <laughs> Finding Black Girl Sunscreen, I also found this brand called Unsun, which I've never heard of, but is pretty poppin', apparently. <laughs> so there is the Everyday Mineral Tinted Face Sunscreen for $15.99, so even cheaper. And what's interesting is I was clicking through the website and I saw that they have tinted sunscreen. Have you seen a tinted sunscreen come in a medium dark ever? I've seen tinted SPFs that come in like five shades lighter than me or more, but this one has really good reviews that I've seen. It's about $30, but it's like a sunscreen foundation all in one. So, so the last brand that I'm gonna talk about for your body is the Honey Pot. And the Honey Pot is wildly popular. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. It's sold in Target, it's sold in Walgreens, it's sold pretty much everywhere, but it's almost always sold out. What's cool about the Honey Pot is they have a quiz on their website to, you know, pretty much quiz you on what you need. So they have so many options, but it's like, what are your problem areas? What are you hoping to achieve? Here are the products that work best for you. So they focus on women's health, um, menstrual health for all people who menstruate, no matter what you identify as. They donate hygienic products to women and femmes who are impoverished and may not be able to afford those products as well. So. With this brand, you're not only getting a high quality product, but they are also doing good in the community. So two things that I wanted to point out from this brand are the sensitive wash. I'm pretty sure this is fragrance free. Pretty sure. It's the sensitive feminine wash to boost moisture levels, calm irritation and balance your pH while gently cleansing your most delicate parts. So self-explanatory, but I like that it comes in a sensitive option as well. They also have fragranced options. The first brand in household items are Band-Aids. So we all saw, we all saw what Band-Aid tried to do with finally pulling out some skin tone colors that aren't just beige. After 99 years, what'd they expect? A round of applause? So no, 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 no. Like I almost felt more disrespected by the fact that they're like, ooh, we're gonna be diverse, we're gonna be inclusive. Now in the midst of like, essentially like a second civil rights era. And that just felt, it felt more disrespectful than if they just hadn't come up with that idea at all, really. So that immediately made me wanna start researching other Band-Aid brands that I can support. Cause that was just a slap in the face. Like. I understand brands want to do better, but for you to be like, look at me, I'm inclusive during this time, that makes me so mad. Because it's not genuine. It doesn't feel genuine to me. So I'd rather not support band tape anymore if I don't have to. So that's just my opinion. Have your opinion if you want, but I just feel like they're trying to hop on the bandwagon and not in a good way. Just like many brands are right now, but we're not gonna get into that. So the first brand that I found are called Brandages and they make specifically brown band-aids. And all of these, all of these things are sold out right now. <laughs> like Brandages is poppin'. 
And I'm assuming one, because of the black owned business craze and two, because of Band-Aid. People were so pissed, like me. We had very similar outrages and came to find a brand that actually supports brown people. So I just picked out two items anyway, like of the more unique ones. So obviously they sell brown band-aids, but some cool little things is they have ones with little girls and boys on them. So these are the girls too. And it just has pictures of like young brown girls. So when you have a cut or something, you can give your child a band-aid of someone who represents them someone who looks like them and i just think that that is so cute so cute and they have like little careers um and then also they sell children's books so i just thought that was a cool option so if you have kids you can get them the band-aids with the children on them and you can get them a little kid's book and you're supporting a small business in the process okay so this video is getting super duper long-winded so i'm just gonna run through the last three things that I wanna talk about because it's just a lot, it's too much. Like I'm getting hot and getting sweaty and I'm really hungry, so. Okay, and then the last two things are food and beverage related. The first is black and bold coffee, also sold at Target. And I recently ordered their dark roast, waiting for it to come in the mail. Unfortunately, it was sold out at the Target that I go to, so I had to order it online but they do lots of cool stuff and apparently they've gotten rave reviews. People love this coffee. So black and bold, sold a Target, go check it out. The very last thing um, that I actually have in person, let me go get it. The very last thing is wine. So there are these two sisters called the McBride sisters and they created wines so you might have seen it featured on um instagram and stuff it's called like black girl magic wine so that's like that's a collection that they have as well like the black girl magic riesling and stuff like that which hey i'm trying to try i need to find it in store but i just so happened to be in walmart when i saw these in person and i didn't have to shop online and pay for shipping and i was so excited so i picked up the sauvignon blanc and the red blend and i haven't tried the sauvignon blanc yet i am really excited for it when i get a chance but i did try the red blend obviously as you can see my little reusable cork and it was really good if you've ever had apothic red it tastes like a higher end version of apothic red so it's a very good red blend. It's owned by two black women. They are the first black sister duo to, to break into the wine industry. And I support them wholeheartedly. The McBride sisters can be found at Total Wine, at some targets, at Walmart. So go check it out. Highly support if you're a wine drinker. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode two of this black owned series. If you have a category of items that you would like me to research in regard to black owned businesses and share what I know and share cool facts about them and cool products, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.